Hi, it's Matt at Steve Bellotron. Today we're going to have a look at connecting and registering your Internet Service Gateway. So on the Internet Service Gateway, you've got three connections. The first one is our Ethernet connection. This connects the ISG to your router. The CAN connection, which connects the ISG to our WPF4. And our power connection, which is powered by a three-pin UK plug. We're going to use the HSBC 225 to demonstrate this. First of all, we need to remove the front cover from our WPM4. We have a quick release quarter turn screw at the base. We can now lift the front cover off. There are some locating pins which allow you to locate the WPM4 onto the base. With the front cover removed from our WPM4 and our internet service gateway communication cable routed and ready to be wired, we can connect it to either X1.2 or 1.18. On the top of our connection for 1.2, we have H, L, minus and plus. We need to connect our white cable into H. Our brown cable into L. And our black into minus. Always ensure all the terminals are tight. We can now connect our CAN cable to the internet service gateway, our ethernet cable and power up the internet service gateway. We are looking for a green flashing light on X1 and a red solid light on X2. Once we have registered the internet service gateway, X2 will change to a green flashing light. Now we will need to register the internet service gateway. Well, first of all, we need to find the internet service gateway on the network. There's a couple of ways that we can do this, which I will detail in the next two slides. If you are using a Windows desktop, you can use a program called Command Prompt. There is a very similar program on Apple software called Terminal. You will need to type in ping space service vault and press enter or return. An IP address will appear just below. The IP address could be in the configuration 10.0.100.192. These will always vary across each and every network. At this point, you will need to copy the IP address and paste it into a web browser and press enter. The Internet Service Gateway homepage will appear soon after. Another method to find the Internet Service Gateway's IP address on a Windows desktop is to open File Explorer. Scroll down on the left hand side so that you can see Network and select Network. On the right hand side, the Internet Service Gateway icon should appear. Double click the icon and the Internet Service Gateway home page will load up in your web browser. Now we can look at how to register your Internet Service Gateway. You will need to select the correct language and press OK. Agree to the terms and conditions and on the home page, click 
establish connection. At this stage, we will need to accept terms and conditions, enter the customer's name and address, the heat pump model, heat pump serial number, and the customer's email address and contact number. It's important to enter all of the information on the registration page. If the property does not have a house number, you can enter the house name. Once the information has been entered and you have pressed OK, a portal key will be emailed to the customer. I have included an example, as we can see on the screen. The portal key is case sensitive, so it needs to be entered exactly as it's displayed. Finally, refresh the web page. You are looking for two green ticks to appear. On the right hand side, you should have a green tick next to system status and a green tick next to portal status. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, this video helps with registering your Internet Service Gateway. For any further questions, please contact our technical team on 0151 346 2300 or the email address shown on screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest videos from Steve Archon UK.